Now this is a panel that goes under the um, radiator grill and mud guards. Mud guards right across. Mud guards come around here and bolt on around here. The um, radiator surround or the grill it um, bolts on here. So um, there's quite a few points where it attaches to the car. But the thing that stopping me from getting it in with the guards in place are these two holes here. Now these are the ones where the um, <coughs> crank handle uh, support fits inside the, uh, the, the chrome surround and you've actually got to mount that in the chrome surround first. So you've got two bolts hanging down which means you can't just slide this under the under the grill so you've actually got to be able to drop it down further so I've got to remove maybe one of the guards at least and perhaps even one of the um, bumper bar supports so I can get it down and under to locate that or maybe I'll just pull the radiator off and might be easier I'll pull that back off um, the surround not the radiator so uh, I can put this in and then drop the the chrome surround down onto the support. Anyway, this is the offending piece. I've got to flatten the paint. Now there's not a lot of um, paint to be flattened, um, mainly because it's not seen. So basically the area around here is hidden under the chrome surround. Um, the area is along here. here and around there, they're hidden by the mudguard. So uh, there's uh, not lots but it's just a bit fiddly. It's one of the things I've had stored away. Um, not wanting to uh, spend the time but now I have to spend the time flatting and then doing a buff. So uh, that's what I'm about to do. Now I finished buffing this panel and I'm starting to reassemble or deassemble. Take the mud guard off. I'm hoping I don't have to take the second guard off. And I've got to slide this. This one is so it's not bolted in properly, but I'm hoping I can just slide that in under without damaging the paint. Um, the reason I've got to pull everything apart again is a little bit different to the initial trial fit I did before painting because it didn't matter if I knocked the panels around a bit um, but unfortunately when you finish the paint you've got to be very careful you don't chip things when you put things together hence I've got to pull things apart more than I probably did when I, I did the initial trial fit of all the panels so uh, Anyway, it looks as though it will go under. I've just got to lift this guard up a little bit and then slide that into place. Now, it will also have the, the plastic weather strip going along under there. So I've actually got to put that in place as well and cut the holes for the bolts. So uh, I'll start by trying to put that under. If I can get that under, I'll then... Um, get my wife to come out again and try and put this guard back on. Um, I took it off myself and nearly dropped it on the floor. So uh, just need to be careful with, as I say, with painted panels. Now this is trying its hardest to defeat me. The, um, as I said before, the problem is trying not to scratch the, the paint on the panels. Um, I've just got a couple of bolts in this bottom apron with the, the seal just started to put that in place. Um, I can't go any further on that because the more I, bolts I put in this the more I tighten up the guard and then I can't get this panel in and there are bolts that go through both the guard and this panel into the support around about there. 
so I've got to actually be able to line those up as well. So I've had to stop doing this to get those bolts in to get this um, guard at the right height or near enough to the right height. So everything I seem to do, I take one step forward and two steps back and then have to reassess things. So at this stage, I'll try and get these two bolts in. I'll just put a couple of temporary bolts to hold this side panel here onto the support. Ultimately the grill goes through those. The grill surrounds. So I can't put that on yet till I've solved this. So it's slowly coming together, very slowly. And added to that, once I've got this panel in, I can't tighten it up because I've got to put the seal in place. And I can't put the seal in place until I've got the other panels on as well. So looks like I've got to loosely fit all of these panels, get that seal in, um, before I can proceed too much further. And even then I don't know whether I can lock things up because it might then affect how um, I fit the other side. So anyway, I'll keep proceeding. The, um, I'll say it's taken a lot longer than, um, than I anticipated. Now this is the driver's side um, engine side panel. Um, actually goes alongside the engine and attaches to the guard up around here. Now I've just had to put this rubber strip on the bottom. This is a bit of conveyor belt, a uh, rotten thing to cut but, uh, and a rotten thing to drill. But it should do the job. It's riveted to the bottom of the panel there, along here, just three rivets. Now that actually sits over the chassis rail, so um, I'm just going to drop this in now. Now I can't bolt it up, of course, until I've got the, the top panel, which comes on and lines up with these holes here, so I've got to do that as well. And I need that. I'll just come over to the car. I need that to go down in alongside the guard there alongside the guard and so then the other panel comes up and attaches to this and before I put that top panel on I've got to put some webbing in through there and that's to stop the, um, the side panel from, from rubbing so I've got to do that and um, not sure how that matches up with the webbing at the top here. I'll have to look at that whether it's one piece or uh, two separate pieces. I've got a feeling it might be one piece because the bonnet, the top of the bonnet comes down over here over this black section so I'd imagine this has got webbing over the top of that to stop the, the bonnet from scratching. So. I'll just have a look at the, um, the radiator surround uh, to see how those um, webbing holes match up. And it took a bit of uh, adjustment to get this in. The, um, the difficulty I had was it actually has to come down between this side panel here and the mounting on the side of the radiator. So I had to take that bolt out again, squeeze this in between this panel here, in between the mount and the outer panel. But I've managed to get that in, I've got the bolt loosely in place. I mean everything seems to be loosely in place but I'm not at the stage where I can put anything permanently in place. But it's in, it's touching the, the brake line a little bit there. I have to look at that when it's finally put in place. Um, I could either move the, the brake line or or adjust the cut out at the end. It might be easier just to adjust. See this little recess there. 
to adjust that cut out. It'll only be about an eighth of an inch, so uh, that shouldn't be a problem. But uh, that's now in. Now I've just got to sit back and work out whether I can put that side panel in next or whether something else has got to go in first. And probably this webbing. Um, but uh, I'll just sort that out now. I've got these side panels <coughs> temporarily in position. All the bolts uh, are in place, uh, of which there are there are many. I think there are 18 all up. That's just between the the side panels and the guard. There, there are more bolts around the bottom of the guard. Um, everything seems to be lined up reasonably well. I had to put the webbing under that. That's the rest of it. There, it's got to go up across the um, radiator support. Now, once again, I'm not locking anything up at this stage. Um, it's uh, going to be temporary till I'm satisfied that everything can go on. I don't want to actually lock it up and then have to pull it all off. Now, I was also going to put some pinstriping uh, along the line between the, the two colours. Um, so between the black and the Old English. So uh, I might have to do that before I lock things up because I've actually got to be able to get the... this is actually pinstriping tape. I'm going to be able to get the tape around the corners. If I lock things up I won't be able to do that. So I'll look at that next to make sure I can actually do that. Um, and that's certainly before I even think about locking things up. The um, radiator surround, um, I may not put that on until I've got uh, the panels on the other side. I'll think about that as well. It's just a question of access. Um, I was looking at the access to the bolts to, to bolt that um, surround on. I can get them up through the bottom, um, some of them, and some of them come down from the top. I'll just make sure I can get that. Um, other than that, things are coming along. I need to get the find where I've got the uh, bonnet lock. It's in a bag somewhere in the garage here. I'll probably put that on before I go too much further. So it's uh, it's coming along. Lining these holes up is not easy um, for a couple of reasons. One is I'm too old to line the back for too long. Um, and usually when I'm down there I need something that's up here. So I'm up and down so that's not uh, very enjoyable. The, um, the other thing is with this you're lining up um, obviously three panels. The guard this top panel and the bottom panel uh, and also the, the holes in the um, strip I've got between. So this gets a bit fiddly getting the, the bolts through but they're, as I say, they're in um, and hopefully they'll stay in. It's a bit hard to see from my view screen but I've put the pinstriping along. Uh, that's the first attempt. I um, will probably take that off and redo it. There's a couple of, couple of places where I think I've looked around here where it's a little bit low. Um, it was just a bit awkward getting used to the way the tape is designed. It's got a the two stripes come on the one roll and it's covered with a plastic film and the plastic film of course is is wider than the um, the actual stripes so I was lining the, the plastic film with the top of the panel rather than the stripe um, because I thought it was all one piece 
Um, so you, you put that on first, then you peel the, the plastic covering off. So I probably will take that off and redo that. Um, but the principle will be the same, and the result hopefully will be a little bit better. It's got a little bit of an M piece on there. Um, there's not much room to put that because of the width of the panel, but um, I was able to get that on. Now I can only put those stripes on when this panel is loose because the, the stripe actually curls around the back and sticks onto the back so the panel's got to be able to come out a bit. Um, but I'll redo that now and then that'll do for this side. Uh, it's not tightened up. Um, I'm going to leave that until I do the same on the other side. So I've got to put the guard back on which I haven't done yet and um, put these side panels and line up all the bolts. So I've got to do everything I did on this side on the other side. Um, you know, practice makes perfect. So um, that's the way it will look when I'm finished. Those stripes will go down um, in the division between the black and the Old English white. I haven't done them on the doors yet. Um, the doors are easy enough because they open. I can get around the edges. But I need to do this before I bolt it up.